Um, and so as far as like your UFC career goes, uh, I'd like to get into that a little bit. What was like overall, what was your experience like kind of over there? Um, it was a good, ex it was a good experience, experience that like, I wouldn't like, I, I wouldn't change as far as like, yeah, I wouldn't change because I, I mean, I learned a lot. It made me a better man, it made me a better person, um, better athlete after that, better person at home, you know, for my, for my, my wife and my kids. So, I mean, it, it was, it was a great experience. Um, just the way the UFC handles things, I'm um, just like to the T, um, yeah, uh, it, it was a great, it was a great experience. Okay, so you had a good experience there. Um, I know you did have a couple rough goes though, um, like that split decision to TJ Brown, of course. And then I know that last fight to Chavez, like that was a weird one, right? There's like a point deduction, if I remember that correctly. And yeah. then it ended up in a draw, right? That that was a weird one, man. But um, just like, I guess what I'm getting to is that just a couple of things, right? Could have gone like your way you end up looking at like a three and one record in the UFC and it's just like two little things kind of didn't go your way. And then you ended up, I don't know if you didn't resign or if they, whatever the case was there, yeah, but there's a, the contract was four fights. So I just didn't, I didn't resign. We didn't. Renew. Okay. Oh. Um, but how did you kind of handle then not renewing your contract? Just because like I'm pointing out, it was like a couple small things and, and you're young. So, you know, emotionally you might not have been through those kinds of things yet. So I'm just kind of curious where your mindset was like, not really um, resigning with them. It was rough because the whole those it wasn't like just. I mean, you talk about those last two fights, the Danny Chavez fight. Obviously, it's a W in my mind. The TJ Brown fight, W in my mind, and then even the Jonathan Pierce fight. Like I lost that fight. I got I got tired, but I took that fight on like six days notice. So I mean, it's like, and I was in the fight. You know, like I was in the fight. I I'm, I was winning the fight until I lost. I'm pretty sure, like the on the scorecards. I mean, I won the first round, and I got like, I got like TKO at the ending of the second. It wasn't like I was getting pounded. It was just I got tired and, um, I got tired and um, he was like hitting me. I was stuck in a position. He was hitting me from the back, and it wasn't like I was I got like freaking beat up or anything. It was just a fight that like I wasn't prepared for. You know, that was one like I mean I was like skill wise I I'm able to be in there. But like I wasn't prepared. Like I didn't. I didn't have a camp. I, was, I just moved to Vegas. Like, mm. like two, like two weeks prior. Um, so, um, that fight I don't even take it as a like. It, I take it more of a lesson. That that's like a lesson that I lost. Like just not rushing my, rushing it. You know, like they called me. I was at the PI. They called me. Yep, taking a fight. Let's go. Like in a week, and then, and then, the. TJ Brown fight, I felt like I won. Just I didn't fight. I'm, I'm a way better fighter than I am now. I would crush my own self in that fight, as well as TJ Brown. But I just feel like in that fight, I beat that guy. You know, like I beat that guy. And then, then Danny Chavez fight, like I, I I completely beat him up. And it's just like he, they get to, they deducted a point off of me, like a groin shot that I that was only one, and it wasn't even in a groin. So it was like mm -hmm. it was weird. So it's like. I mean, weird, weird experiences, but I mean, it just made me better. Just made, it made me tighten up on a lot of things that I was already doing well, and okay. like just be more more professional all the way around. Diet, um, weight cut process, uh, just you know, like fine detail, like being a more professional. That's why I don't like that that part of my life. Like it was it was a fun like that was fun, but it was it was, it was scary. Cause like I, I didn't have a con or like we didn't re you know I didn't have to I ended up there's like a couple day period like couple or like when when I you know like we got notified that we weren't getting resigned you know it's just like what are we gonna do next you know what I mean like I then signed the Bellator like the next day or so um I got like the call and then um you know like just didn't waste my time and I just don't waste time and I love what I do so. That's how it, it worked out. It worked out because I knew I wasn't going to stop. So, like, after you were released, in a sense, you said that it, it made you better, right? And yeah. maybe I'm reading between the lines, but just kind of a question that popped up in my head is, like, because you were doing really well in the UFC and it was just, like, a couple small things, even, like, with the, um, shoot, that one fight you mentioned where, like, you just kind of weren't really locked in anywhere. It seems like you moved down to Vegas, like, a couple weeks prior, you said. So yeah. was it one of those things where you're, like, I'm doing really well, um, and if I just like really lock in, like imagine how much better I could be, or is, is that just what I'm saying in my head? 
Yeah, that's what it was. Like, I mean, I mean, obviously, it it didn't sound that. It didn't feel like that. Like right at that moment when I had to like get signed to Bell, or I didn't when I found out that we weren't gonna get resigned. It just felt like like yeah, what the fuck is gonna happen now? Like, like I ain't I getting I ain't getting my ass beat. You know what I mean? So it's mm-hmm. like it's like do it. So that's where it's like okay, I'm not getting my ass beat. I'm like winning these fights. It's just like tightening up a lot. Like just gotta fucking tighten up. Like that's right. exactly what it was. Like just tighten up and you know be smart. 